like this are to me a truly beautiful really just look at these forms of like for example these headlights look how beautiful they are headlights grill yes it's something between a tractor and a car I know but Back then, you couldn't really test aerodynamics of this car. But I'm, I'm gonna tell you one thing. The size of this is, yeah, it's great. The size probably of uh, some kind of a Toyota Avalon or something. Look how much space is in here. I'm pretty sure you can still see them on the road sometimes, all painted white, usually used for weddings. Now, to tell you exactly about the quality of this car, by the way, let me jump ahead of you, it sucks. The quality of the design is the best. And this is why these cars, even back then, came with all these tools. What does this look like to you? To me, it's something like valve springs. That's something in case, you know, the engine fails on the road. But as far as luxury, you can't really get inside of it, but pretty sure. I know it's all handmade. I was supposed to transport one of these about a year and a half ago. It was in horrible condition. I think it was all aluminum and you could see that it was handmade completely. Tell me that you wouldn't want to be seen in one of those. Wow, this is not just red. I don't know if you can see it on the camera. This is like kind of like a metallic pearl red wow Look at this video. Now, why I'm showing you this? Because of this. Why 
armored tank. That's what they call it. Now let's see what is the name of it. Now I know why Russians are using this name on their uh, army trucks. And this is another interesting story of car manufacturing. Look at this. This is Cyclops. That's what they called it. This one headlight was turning with the turn of the steering wheel. Something similar to what in modern cars is called dynamic headlights. Let's see. Let me show you how it is. So I turn the wheel right left. You see how the light is changing? suspension that they used on that vehicle. This is the front suspension. I don't remember but something was not right with it. There's some 80s and 90s BMW rear suspension look very similar to this. The only thing is they have like bigger arm but everything was shifted that way and axle yeah, yeah, yeah. mounted to the frame. Something was going on with the, their engines too. They had six cylinder engines. I think flathead, uh, boxer engines, I think that's what they call them now. Or opposing cylinder engines. And this is how the car looked like. I think they were having issues with the cooling system and I won't be really surprised why. I don't think this was called a car. This was called a motorcycle. Yeah, right. And that's a BMW as well. And this is a door, if some of you didn't know. And this is Harley Davidson with the sidecar. back to this. Yep, this is another Harley. This thing is huge. And I don't like the way it looks. So, this is Burn Nights very expensive very 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 expensive for 1920s Pierce Arrow it was all they were all like very low quantity custom luxury vehicles and Lafayette <laughs> 